hi you guys so I got some great 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 things to talk to you guys about today so a lot of people you are in a courtship and you're dating and you're like ah how do I know if this guy is the one for me prophet is I need some kind of confirmation I'm praying well I can't prophesy to you guys individually but I will tell you some things about my walk and my life maybe it can bless you guys amen so I knew that my fiance was the one for me because number one he just everything displayed when it's God you don't got to manipulate it you don't got to control it you don't even got to make it happen oh it's going to happen it's going to come to pass no matter how bad you try to fight it no matter how bad you try to resist it see just being married before and the marriage didn't work out and I wasn't I wasn't trying to date you know I was just caught up in my purpose my destiny focus on the Lord amen and that's another thing when you so lost in your purpose God will literally send you somebody amen sometimes it happens when you least suspect it and that's what happened happened to me so I had all these walls built up and first of all the man got through those walls you know so I knew it was God uh, I had a friend she said prophetess you're gonna be single till you get like 45 because you're so picky you know so I want to encourage you guys out there just to you know be open be open some of you guys you got high standards you know they're unrealistic something wrong with having high standards you know bunch of unrealistic standards uh, for example you may be praying for God to send you someone with money but you don't got no money or you're a bad steward of money or you may be praying you know for God to send you a virgin and you ain't a virgin or you may be praying for for God to send you somebody that don't have kids but you got kids so you know, just be open because that man could be what you need not what you always want all right you may be praying you know and that's we're going to talk about unexpected unrealistic expectations see I, 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 I was so um, what's the word I'm looking for at one point in my life I was so superficial that's the best word yeah you know I said I, I don't want an older guy I want somebody you know in their 30s and I want somebody young and you know but that's not what God gave me amen but the man that he gave me is everything that I need amen everything that I could possibly want the man that God has for you is going to be your blessing I look at my man as my blessing amen he is my blessing and that's the thing you know um, a lot of women when you get married you treat your husband you know you get just so uh, what's the word you don't value him anymore you are ungrateful you just become ungrateful amen just ungrateful about him and you just like you know you, you treat him like any kind of way you know he is a gift to you you are a gift to him and I'm talking about in marriage all right so I knew my man and God was the one because we're compatible you know we get along we're best friends a lot of people can't say that they're best friends with their spouse or their best friends with the person according you know they they skip the friendship stage and you know there's all rush 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 you know what are you rushing for are you rushing to have sex because if that's the case you're marrying for the wrong reason you know sex gets old and I'm telling you from somebody that has been married before all right so you want to have something to fall back on other than sex all right so be the person's best friend you want to be able to laugh together outside of the bedroom you want to be able to enjoy each other outside of the bedroom amen you want to be able to grow with each other all right so me and my man of God we are best friends we enjoy doing the same things together you know um, we enjoy eating together we enjoy cooking together we enjoy traveling together we enjoy you know watching shows together we enjoy praying together we enjoy fasting together you know we have grown so much together amen just being friends so I had walls up and this man of God he got through my walls amen and it happened when I least suspected it because if you know it just the Lord amen you know I don't 
text guys I don't even talk to guys on social media unless it's about business or ministry but I felt led that day when he you know texted me to text him back and then from there it was just history a man wasn't always peaches and cream you know when you're being friends uh, trying to get to know somebody but uh, at the end of the day we have a bond so you will know if a person is the one for you hey man if you have more than just chemistry you know physical chemistry it's about sexual chemistry you know a sexual attraction of course you want to be attracted to the person but is there more you know you don't want to be you don't want to have a superficial relationship you know do you have things you know do you feel like you can't live without this person do you think about this person hey man can you see your you know your life your plans your future uh involved in this person like for example like you don't want to date somebody based on looks and you know they don't fit in with your 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 life or your calling you know you don't want to date a buddhist amen when you are a christian and you're going down two different paths so i knew he was the one because he aligned up with my calling and my destiny because being a minister i, I can't date just anybody amen so i dated somebody that hey they have an anointing on their lives too all right um they have a ministry as well amen they understand the things you know uh, about ministry you know I, I'm a prophet they understand about the prophetic you know so things just lined up I got what he needs and he got what I need amen and you know we um, match off of each other you know we make up for what each other lacks for example he needed some a model a test model and he he says I'm photogenic and I look good on his camera amen and I needed some photos at the time when we first, you know, start talking for my websites and flyers and stuff like that. So everything worked out. Amen. So, hallelujah. God is good. So, how did I know he was the one? Well, in ministry, I can't, like I said before, I can't date everybody. I can't date just, you know, any tom dick and harry bozo that comes along so the reason why is because you know you know they, they could be from the enemy so what my man of god he's not lustful amen he sends me scriptures every day amen and he's patient with me so if a man is pressuring you guys to have sex with him that's not the one and man, my man, a guy, he, he's going to wait. He ain't putting his hand in his cookie jar. Amen. Until my my last name changes. I knew he was the one when, you know, I couldn't get him out of my mind. And I thought about him constantly. And, you know, we were partners. We're partners in the magazine that God has blessed us with. You know, I have a Christian magazine. And he always wanted to shoot for a magazine you know so he fits in with my alignment you know um, I'm, I'm, I'm a prayer intercessor prayer warrior he is too amen he may not always be out on the forefront the limelight but he is behind the scenes amen I knew he was the one because he covered me when I was at my weakest when I was so vulnerable you know just crying about court because I was in a legal situation you know for a long time he saw me at that he never exposed me he never told my business amen but he prayed for me he was there for me he encouraged me you know a lot of men they want to take over women they want to take advantage of women when they're at their weak state when they're vulnerable you know and a lot of women give in and so we have to be wise and use discernment not not to give in so i i knew he was the one when you know he was just patient with me he waited for me he you know see a lot of men they want to rush you and you know put pressure on you for certain things he never did that he never did that my man of god never did that he actually was he's patient he waited until god healed my heart amen so you know don't rush it you know be patient god has someone out there for you 
you know, when you least expect it, listen to me. When you least expect it, that's when literally it's probably when it's going to happen. You know, I, I, I got so focused on God. I got so focused on my calling. And it happened. You know, it, it happened for me. And it can happen for you too. Don't give up. Be encouraged. You know, the man that God has for you is going to be everything that you've been praying for. You know, be open. Amen. Don't have all these unrealistic expectations. You know, be open and, and watch God. God will not fail you guys. Amen. I said God will not fail you guys. He has so much in store for his daughters. Amen. He has so much in store for us. And I'm, I'm just excited. I'm happy just to even think about it. It is amazing. Amen. So, I'm probably going to do a part two on this. Amen. Because there's so much I want to say. All right. So, I'll see you guys next time for the next broadcast.